Okay, so here we have two frames. On the left, we have the original model. Uh, the, the model is sort of a time, and, and we're going to call that zero. And on the right, we have some candidates, something, some place in terms of how it's changed. And it's going to be centered at some value y, some pixel y. So on the left, we have our initial distribution. Okay, so this was our histogram that we computed uh, in our area, and it's typically called Q. And Q has got a set of bins, U1 through M. And because it's going to represent a density, we enforce the fact that the sum of them equals 1. So how do we do that? Well, we just sum them all up and we divide all the bins by that value. Okay, you, and you see we have the audaciousness to call it probability, okay, because, well, we're going to take these samples and we're assuming that it's representative of a probability distribution function. So that's our distribution at the initial of the target. At some new location, okay, we can compute the distribution again. So now P of U is a function of Y where Y is the point that we're considering. Remember, you have to consider P of Z given the state. So Y is going to be that, that new point. And I, it's called Y instead of X. That's how it's done in the mean shift literature. If you read this, uh, this, is, this is what you would say. And again, we're going to build a distribution by assuming that these things sum up to 1. So we have these two distributions. And what we have to do is we need a similarity function that compares them, that compares the original Q and the new P of Y, which is the density at this proposed place. So the question is, how are we going to compare these distributions? Now, there are a variety of functions that you can use to compare uh, histograms, where the histograms are, are normalized to 1, so they represent probabilities. Uh, there's the min value. There's, there's um, chi-squared, a variety of them. The one that was used with respect to um, mean shift tracking is referred to as the Bhattacharya coefficient. Bhattacharya coefficient comes from something related to the Bhattacharya distance. It's simply a way of comparing distributions. What you do is you take your distributions here and you change it by taking the square root of each of the components. So if Q is a distribution Q1 through QM, then Q prime is going to be square root of Q1 through the square root of QM. Same thing with the new proposed distribution P around Y. We're going to take P prime where we take the square roots. When we define it that way, the Bhattacharya relationship is defined as follows, okay? Just take the sum over the product of those square roots, okay? And you might ask, well, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, you quickly realize that if you take the magnitude of those square rooted vectors, right, the magnitude is the square root of the sum of the squares. Well. The sum of the squares is what? Well, since the sum of the q's is 1, the sum of the square roots then squared is going to be 1. So the magnitude is 1. So these magnitudes here, those are 1. So that means you just have this. So basically, you're computing the dot product, the cosine of the angle, between the square roots of those distributions. And that sum of the square root, the thing in the box here, that's what's referred to as the Bhattacharya coefficient. It's just a way of comparing uh, distributions, and so that's what they did.